In today's video, I'm gonna go over the process of connecting the Toyota app and your cell phone to your third generation Toyota Tundra. The first step is gonna to be to download the Toyota app and set up your profile. Once you've done that and you come to this main screen, you're gonna have the option to add a vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can add your vehicle by either scanning the VIN or entering the VIN manually. And then on models like mine that are Drive Connect capable, then you're gonna scan the QR code. So uh, real quick, I'll just show you how to scan the van if you wanna do it that way. So on the driver door panel of your Tundra, you've got this sticker right here, which has your VIN number, and then it's also got this barcode. We're gonna go ahead and scan that barcode rather than entering it manually. So press scan VIN, click on the barcode option, and then just hold that back, put that box around the barcode, and you can see it's entered it manually. Um, but again, in my instance, we're going to use the QR code. So we're going to go ahead and click on the scan QR code option here. Click on the settings button here and the get started um, button there. Go ahead and enter your phone number and Toyota is going to send you a text message to download the Toyota app if you haven't done that already. So now we're going to go ahead and scan the QR code. You'll see on my phone it says verification needed. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And then once I've done that, this screen pops up here and it's going to want you to enter your email or mobile phone number on this line right here. Once you've done that, this screen is going to come up and it's going to ask for a six digit code that was either texted to your phone or sent to your email. And you're going to go ahead and enter the activation code on this screen. And now it's verifying that code and it's going to link to the vehicle. There we go. Now the Tundra is linked to my phone. I'm gonna say I've completed app setup. Driven Companion is connected to my app. Next, we're gonna connect my phone. You can either connect a device from the phone screen here or on the settings screen, we can go to Bluetooth and devices, say search for devices. And then you'll see on my phone here, we've got an option for Mike's Tundra. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. We'll also click on Mike's iPhone on that screen and they should connect. Confirm the code. We're gonna go ahead and allow favorites to sync. We are gonna set it as the primary device. And yes, we do want CarPlay. Confirm CarPlay on my phone as well. And there we go, we are connected. Now on your phone, you're also gonna get this screen here. It's gonna ask you to confirm whether you want some of the trial periods for the remote connect, safety connect, and drive connect. If you click on each of these, it's gonna give you a description of what is included with each of these subscription services. Um, once we've done that, we're gonna click on continue. And then it's gonna give you a consent if you want to do the trial period of these various items. And as you can see, I'm a very fast reader. So go ahead and say confirm and continue. And there we go, congratulations. Go ahead and say finish setup. And now we can use the app for its variety of features. If you wanna see more about what you can do with this system, look forward to another video in the near future. So that's a rundown of connecting the Toyota app and your cell phone to the third generation Toyota Tundra. For more videos of the all new Tundra, be sure to subscribe. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.